The Community Preservation Committee in Kingston has set its sights on a pair of boathouses on the Jones River. Only a short while ago, these properties were in distress. But thanks to funding from the CPC, as well as the Jones River Landing, these historical gems are regaining their lost luster. We met with Peter Aronstam, who was tasked with doing the finish work. This project is a community preservation project. Uh, funding was provided by the town of Kingston to help restore these buildings. The Jones River Landing purchased this property in 2008 with the aid of the community preservation funds to come in and save these buildings. Extensive work had to be done. The foundation pilings had all collapsed, so new holes had to be dug about three or four feet down, posts put in, the new sills made, and the building had to be jacked up and set back down level. The Jones River Landing sees these properties and valuable for the community for three reasons. One, historic, of course. Uh, they're on, they are historic property where boats have been built for over 100 years. They provide access to the river for education about the environment and they provide access to the river for recreation. Those are the three big components for the Jones River Landing um, and one of the reasons why we're restoring these buildings. For hundreds of years, from the 1700s on, ships have been built here in Kingston and these two buildings represent that long history. Uh, these two boathouses here so close to the river um, were not accidentally put here. They're very close because they were used for storage of boats and for boat building. The white building next to us was the, owned by Nate Watson, a very well-known um, sailor and boat builder who built hundreds of boats here. This building was built in the 1940s. It was owned by Arthur Holmes of the Holmes family here in Kingston and was used as a storage building. Now that the structure of the building is secure, all the exterior work will have to happen. Uh, we put on a new roof, a red cedar shingle roof. The siding is white um, cedar clapboards. The windows, we're today painting windows, all new wooden windows custom made for this building. We've made doors, the big double doors at the end of the building that allow the boats to come in. And all the finish work and from the floor all the way up is, is what we're engaged in now. The importance of this and the end game for the restoration project is threefold really to save the historic fabric here in Kingston, that means these boat sheds, um, to keep alive the history of Kingston, two, to provide access to the river so that uh, people can enjoy it as a recreation and also to learn about the importance of the river system here in Kingston and Cape Cod Bay uh, and everywhere.